it is time for another semester recap. This will be the first semester of the second year of my graphic design major. This semester, I took four design classes. I took computer graphics, typography, illustration, oh, and history of graphic design, but we don't have to go over that because it's not interesting. I mean, it's interesting, it's just I didn't do any like visual projects to show you. All right, so kicking it off with Computer Graphics 1, we had four projects. The first project was the process book. So the assignment is that we're gonna create a process book for a past project, and then we'll use that as a template for future projects. Basically, it's just a little book that shows how you got from the beginning of a project to the end of a project. By the way, I just did a video about process and how I went from the beginning to the end of a project. If you're interested, I'll put the link. <laughs> but yeah, this is how it turned out. I don't like it that much. I don't know. I was just, this one kind of stumped me. I didn't really like this project. And what sucked is that it haunted me because I had to keep using it throughout. Like all the other projects that we did for this class, I had to make a process book for that using that template. I just feel like it could have been more interesting. Project two was the dust jacket. It says that you have to choose a book you've already read and then you have to develop a concept statement as to what your dust jacket is trying to accomplish design-wise. I had a lot of fun with this one. I got to do one of my favorite books, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and I liked how it turned out. I actually have a physical mock-up. Project three was the vector portrait. I enjoyed this project very much. Using Illustrator, you will create a fairly realistic vector portrait, which will live on a stamp. So we had to make like little stamp mock-ups for it. And it had to be a self-portrait actually. Here's how it turned out. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun process. I actually finally learned how to use the freaking pen tool. It didn't make any sense to me for the longest time. But now I know how to use it and I'm pretty confident with it. You don't get to see the stamp mock-ups because those sucked. <laughs> Moving on. All right, and then the final project for this class was the album launch campaign. And as I was talking earlier about the process video, I actually did it over this project. So if you want to see me create this project in real time, I do have that available. So this was our final project and it was that you would create a band and design an album launch campaign and that's including the album cover, the inside of the album cover, the LP label, the t-shirts, the social media, the posters. Yeah, it was a lot, but I had so much fun. I did, I did have a lot of fun, although it was, there was some struggle, but ultimately I do love how it turned out. Here's all of the final stuff that I did. So we've got an album cover, the back of the album cover, the inside of the album, the labels, the t-shirt, and the three plus social media posts, yeah. Overall, this class was probably one of my favorites from the semester. No, it probably was my favorite class. It probably was. Okay, so the next class that we're gonna talk about is Illustration 1. Of course, I was really excited for this class because the thing that I'm most well-versed in is gonna be illustration. The very first project that we had was the Avatar Project. For that project, the whole class voted on a theme. Our theme was Prismacolor Pantheon, so that our avatars would be themed after Greek gods and goddesses. This is how mine turned out, but I did make it look like myself, but I modeled it after Selene, the moon goddess. And I do really like it. I like the color scheme, I like how it turned out, and the professor liked it too. He was awesome. I think I'll have him again next semester, hopefully. All right, the next project that we had was the product illustration. But for this project, we picked an object that was in our possession and we drew it. What was interesting about this project is that it was actually all stippling. We had to buy a special pen, a repeatograph, a, re a repi- re re <laughs> I don't know. It's like a fancy pen and just for hours. For this class, this project took up the most time. 
I do have the object that I drew. It is a handmade sculpture from when I was in high school. Here's the real thing, and here's my final for that project. I really, really enjoyed how this one turned out. It looks super duper clean. It looks very professional. And I did put a lot of time into it, so I have that appreciation for it. The third project was editorial illustration. I didn't like this one. I didn't like the assignment, and I didn't like how it turned out. But the project was that every student had to pick out an article that had a picture in it that we could illustrate and ultimately improve the article. I ended up choosing a Healthline article over serotonin and how to bump it up. The article talked about stuff like going outside, getting enough sunlight, eating the right foods, doing exercise, you know, stuff like that to naturally raise your serotonin. So for my illustration, which had to be watercolor, I drew a girl who was on a bike ride and she had stopped to have a little picnic for herself with healthy foods and a beautiful view. It was kind of like combining all the elements from the article into one illustration. The idea was good, but the execution, then eh, here's how it turned out. It's fine, it's fine. Not my best work from this class, but it's okay. They can't all be the best. The next project was called A Walk Through the Forest. This project was actually really interesting. On one of our days when we weren't in class physically and we were doing it over Zoom, a professor guided us through meditation as a class. And so we would like meditate and picture ourselves in a forest. And then we'd picture ourselves walking through the forest and then we'd find objects along the way. It was like a key, a cup, a house, a body of water, a bear, and a wall. But basically everyone's forest looked different. So obviously everyone's imagining different things. One of my classmates had a completely medieval themed forest. Another person in my class had a totally like dark and creepy forest. My forest was pretty welcoming. It was golden hour time where the sun was just like streaming through the branches. All the trees were evergreen. It was very peaceful. But the assignment was to draw one of the things that we ran into on our walk through our forest. So I chose to draw the house that I saw. Here's what the final looks like. I just saw a little wooden cabin with smoke coming out of the chimney. For this project, we had to use um, charcoal pencils. If you're ever working with charcoal pencils for a project, I definitely recommend picking yourself up some white charcoal pencils. All the highlights that are like popping out, it's that white charcoal. It's so good. I really liked how it turned out. Okay, and then the very last project that we had for illustration one was called Ultimate Bedtime Story. So our professor gave us some open-ended sentences from children's books. It was our job to pick out one of those sentences and illustrate it creatively and in a kid-friendly manner. The sentence that I got was, I never knew that Dora was there. Believe it or not, this was actually the first project of this class that we were allowed to do digitally. So I did. Here is how it turned out. I like it. I think it's interesting, but I really, really enjoy the little characters that I made up. I think I did a good job of making it seem quite whimsical. So yeah, that was all the main projects for illustration one. All right, and then the last class that I'm going to talk about today is typography. We had four main projects in this class. This first project is called Typographic Oppositions. So the assignment was that we combine one typographic opposition with one design principle. So for example, combine a typographic opposition like thick thin with a design principle like radiation. So here are all of the finals. We had to organize them in a little booklet. We then had to print that booklet out, cut it up neatly, bind it all together, and deliver it to the professor. I thought this project was pretty fun. I thought it turned out okay. The professor I had for this wasn't very helpful, so that made things a little bit harder. The second project we had was a typographic specimen. So basically we got to pick out a typeface and research it and create a booklet and a poster to promote the font. The font that I chose was Lust. I ended up falling in love with this font. I love it so much. Here's what I came up with for this one. I don't love it. I struggled a lot with it. The font was really cool though. All right, project three for typography was called Type Talks. Basically, we had this fictional event that featured some graphic designers and typographers, and we had to make posters for this event. Here's how it came out. 
I like the assignment. It was kind of hard. I just did not excel in this class. I like it for the fact that you can see restraint. My instinct whenever I see white space is to cover it up, fill it in. But this project, I tried something different. Ultimately, they came out pretty simple, but effective. All right, and the last project that we had for typography was called Heart Book. The assignment was to create a booklet about something you love. I chose to do my booklet over coffee. Now obviously, since it's a typography class, you're supposed to make type a prominent element. So I tried my best. I think it turned out pretty darn cute. Here's some of the pages, some of the spreads that I designed. I think it has a really nice color scheme and a really nice feel to it all. Oh well, yeah, that was our final project for typography. Typography was probably my least favorite class of the semester. The professor was kind of hard to learn from. And overall, I just don't think I did my best work. But there we go. That was my semester recap of my 2020 fall semester. Obviously, I liked some projects more than others. I think even just comparing my stuff from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester, I have improved, which is exciting. Yeah, I'm still loving the major. Like a crazy amount of work. It's a ton of work, but that's okay, <laughs> I guess. Because I love it. I really do. I'm super passionate about it. And I don't know, I'm excited to see what next semester holds. It is scary though, because next semester they can actually, <laughs> they can actually kick you out of the program if they don't like you. <laughs> Next semester better be good or else I'm not gonna be a graphic design major anymore. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys had a wonderful semester. I know this semester was really hard with the pandemic. I was definitely struggling through it too, but I'm so proud of you guys for making it through. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, if anyone is. <laughs> Alright guys, take care, and I'll see you next semester. <laughs> Bye!